TBS News, I'm Rosine Park. The daily COVID-19 case count here in South Korea continues to climb with 2,110 new infections and 22 additional deaths. The Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency said the latest cases confirmed in the last 24 hours raised the cumulative total to 399,591. The death toll reached 3,137. The number of critically ill patients in the country hit 495, an all-time high. There are concerns that COVID intensive care units will soon run out of beds. The government had said that up to 500 critically ill patients can be managed stably under the current medical system. But if the trend continues right now, emergency measures will be needed. As nearly half of recent cases are said to be breakthrough infections, the government said it's pushing to speed up administering booster shots. Health Minister Kwon Duk Chol told reporters yesterday that authorities are reviewing measures to shorten the interval between doses and extra shots from the current six months to five months or even shorter. In other local news, a potential bus strike in Gyeonggi province may cause a major transportation crisis on Thursday when students are set to take the ever-important National College entrance exam. The Gyeonggi area branch of the Korea Automobile and Transport Workers Federation has been demanding a wage increase for bus drivers that puts them at par with their counterparts in Seoul, as well as the implementation of a two-shift system, among others. But the union's latest round of negotiations with the Bus Transportation Business Association that ran through early this morning fell through. If an agreement is not reached before the deadline on Wednesday, unionized bus workers said they'll walk off the job from 4 a.m. on Thursday. The action will include 22 bus companies in major cities across the province, including Suwon, Goyang, Gimpo, and Songnam. In other news, U.S. President Joe Biden has told his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping that they both have a responsibility to ensure relations between their two countries do not develop into open conflict. Biden made the remark at the start of their virtual meeting the most extensive yet. As I've said before, it seems to me our responsibility as leaders of China and the United States is to ensure that the competition between our countries does not veer into conflict, whether intended or unintended. Just simple, straightforward competition. Both sides hope these talks will help repair the relationship, which has taken a nosedive in recent years. President Xi, for his part, said healthy relations between China and the U.S. were needed to face global challenges, including climate change and COVID-19. Meanwhile, the U.S. has slammed Russia for conducting a dangerous and irresponsible missile strike that blew up one of its own satellites. Officials said Washington wasn't informed in advance about the test, only the fourth ever to hit a spacecraft from the ground. The strike on the defunct intelligence satellite created a debris cloud that forced the International Space Station's crew to take evasive action. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called the move reckless as it generated over 1,500 pieces of debris. He said the danger was far from over, noting the space debris would continue to threaten satellites and activities on the ISS. That's all the news for now. You're listening to TBS EFM.